Hi, Jerry Neiser here for Real Green Pest and Lawn. Today we're going to talk about brown patch, one of the more common diseases that we see in Central Texas. Fall is the time of year when we see a lot of different diseases crop up in our turf grasses and on our ornamental trees and shrubs. Brown patch is one of the more common diseases that we do see in turf grass. What brown patch is, it's a disease, a fungal disease, that affects a point of attachment where the blades attach to the stolon. The stolon is the, the runner that you see in St. Augustine grass or centipede grass and actually even zoysia grass. And what that stolon does, it's kind of a center point in that the roots come downward off of it and the blades go upward on it. What happens is that the, the stolon and the roots actually stay healthy, but that point of attachment where the blade attaches to the stolon becomes rotted. And that rotten decay is really what brown patch, when you talk about brown patch, that's what you're really referring to. It's a fairly easy disease to treat. There's many different products available to treat for brown patch. The important thing is to treat it preventatively. And the reason is, is that, you know, from year to year, if you've got brown patch, you're going to get it again next year because you can't cure it. What you're doing is you're actually treating the symptoms and the symptoms again are the blades releasing from that stolen and if that happens continually from year to year what will happen is that the grass will weaken and eventually you'll end up with a dead spot in the lawn so it's important to get that treated. Proper treating is time sensitive so really when you want to treat in the in the southern United States and we just happen to be in central Texas is when the weather makes that significant change and here it's around uh, September 1st. Two treatments are generally necessary around September 1st and then again at the 1st of October. And again, when you, when you treat preventatively, it takes less product, less toxic products, safer products, and you use less of them. Because just like with people, it's easier to treat something preventatively than it is to try and cure it. When you try and cure it, oftentimes it's too late. When brown patch is evident, you can, uh, you'll can you see the discoloration in the grass from a distance. You'll see just kind of a, a brown or uh, gray shadow along the grass. And if you take your hand and you just slightly run it through, you don't really have to pull it all. The blades will actually release quite easily. You'll see that it's a little bit of rot right where the blade attaches to the runner or the, uh, the stolen. The, the actual runner in St. Augustine grass is called a stolen and where the, the point of attachment where the blade attaches to that stolen will actually rot off. The stolen generally stays healthy so recovery in the springtime is actually pretty quick but if brown patch is left untreated from year to year the grass will thin every year a little bit more until it finally dies and the reason for that is that the blades actually produce the carbohydrates that feed the plant so even though the plant can actually store some carbohydrates that stored carbohydrate is what it uses to regrow the leaves or the blades of grass. And so if it's got to do that from every, every year, eventually it's going to thin. The severity of brown patch can be reduced by changing some cultural practices. During the year, most people just mow at one height. In other words, they'll set their mower in the spring if they change it at all, and they'll mow that height all year long. Same thing with the irrigation system. They'll set it at the front end of the year, maybe change it midsummer, and that's what they do. You know, really, most, diff most diseases, it doesn't matter whether it's in an ornamental tree or shrub or actually your lawn, which is what we're talking about now, you can reduce the severity of it just by changing those cultural practices, watering and mowing. And what I mean by that is you need to increase the air circulation. If you've done any rose gardening or any gardening at all with different types of ornamentals, you know that if you the, the trick to limiting disease on them is to increase air circulation. Well, how do you do that on turf grass? You just mow a little bit lower. Generally, St. Augustine grass likes to be kept at about three and a half inches. So if you drop your mower one setting around the 1st of September, what that'll do is it'll increase the circulation of uh, air through that turf grass. The other thing that you want to do is be careful about when you do irrigate and be careful and so that you don't over irrigate. That September the 1st um, time or point in time is really when the days start to get shorter very, very, very quickly. So one thing that you don't ever want to do, doesn't matter what time of the year it is, is water at night, okay? If you water at night in uh, the spring or the fall, you will definitely get brown patch and it, you know, 
that's just the way it is. And the reason for that is, is for brown patch to be healthy and, what it, and to survive and to really spread and be, have vigorous growth through the lawn, it needs to have moisture on it for about four hours. So if you water during the daytime, as soon as you irrigate that lawn or whatever plant it is, the gravity is going to start pulling that moisture straight down and evaporation is going to happen and pull the water upward. And so the moisture just doesn't stay there. If you water at night, um, you know, before you go to bed or whatever, what's going to happen is that moisture is going to sit on the, uh, on the stolen. Gravitational pull will pull it down, but it takes a whole lot longer and that, that four hour window will most often be exceeded. So it makes it makes the turf grass way more susceptible to, uh, to brown patch. When diagnosing brown patch, it's important to note the shape of the affected area. Brown patch sometimes uh, will form into a circular pattern. The reason is it's going to start from the point of an infection and spread out in all directions equally. So oftentimes it'll be in a circle or an irregular circle. Sometimes it'll start to recover back in the center and you'll actually end up with a donut shape. Brown patch is normally found in the shady areas of a lawn, although it can appear in full sun. If it's in full sun, most likely there's a drainage issue or it's being over irrigated or maybe they're watering at night. But uh, in general, most disease problems take place in the shade. Most insect problems take place in full sun. So note where, it's, note where that disease or that, note where that problem is and you're halfway home as far as diagnosing that problem. Let's recap what we know about brown patch. Brown patch is, is a disease, just like most diseases, you'll find that it occurs in the shady areas of lawn. The uh, predisposition for brown patch is increased by poor watering habits, meaning if you water at night or if you over irrigate. It uh, likes mild temperatures, mild nighttime temperatures between 70 and 75 degrees. Um, it's easily treated with fungicides. Two applications are generally necessary, one at the 1st of September, one at the 1st of October. The uh, fungicides that are used really, as far as toxicity goes, are kind of at the bottom of the list. Um, some of the fungicides are actual fungicides that are used in, in uh, human medicine for ear infections, those types of things. Um, Brown patch, if left untreated, can and will eventually kill large areas of the lawn. So it's important that it's taken care of. Treatment, of course, um, doesn't mean that you, you can cure the disease. Treatment is limiting the symptoms of, of, the, of the disease. And of course, symptoms are the detachment of the blades from the stolen. Brown patch is not possible to cure at this time. All you can do is limit the, sympt the symptoms of the disease. I'm Jerry Neiser for Real Green Pest and Lawn Care. For more information and a lot more pictures and, and des description of the disease, go to our website at realgreenlawns.com or give us a call. If you're in our service area, we'll send somebody out. We'll diagnose it for you at no charge. Phone number is 45GREEN. That's 454-7336. Have a great day.